Hey guys, this is Rene, welcome back for another video on this channel and you can see it here already. This is a video again where I compare the live trading performance of one of my expert advisor in an actual live account with real trading conditions with the same period tested in the strategy tester of the MetaTrader 5 on high quality data. And the question to answer is, how accurate is the backtest really? And can we trust the backtesting results? Little disclaimer in the beginning, of course, if this is the same like in the test and in the live account for the past, it does not mean that it has to be like the performance always has, also has to be good in the future. The only thing it means that if you make some backtesting results for a period in the past, this would have happened in the live account also if the results are really similar. And before I start to go into the depth of the analysis here, let me get the advertising block right out of the way. You can get this expert advisor for free if you use my partner broker. Check out the link in the video description and also you can learn how to code this actual strategy in my MetaTrader 5 Masterclass course. Link also in the description. But now let's talk about what we can see here on the screen. We, t we see two graphs actually. And the upper graph is the back test that I'm doing right now, which is not completely finished, but it will be finished in the next few minutes. And it is a back test of the USD Japanese yen range breakout expert advisor starting from 2018 up until, yeah, April 2024 and at the bottom half of the screen we can see the actual live trading results of this exact strategy the range breakout EA in the USD Japanese yen traded in my live account with IC market so 100% real conditions and what I want to do here is I want to compare these two graphs and just by the look we can already tell that they are really, really, really similar. So whenever there is a dip in the tester up here, we also saw this dip in my actual live trading performance. If there is a strong increase, like for example here with the COVID event, we also see this strong increase in the tester. And then if there's a long good trend in the equity we also saw this in the live account so let's talk a little bit more about what specific strategy this is and how my setup looks so this test is currently here running on my server and this is um yeah as i said here starting from 2018 january 1st in usd japanese yen with the tick data suite real tick data so in a second when this test is finished we will see this is like the 100% actual quality and everything. Also, you can see for the trading costs, I set the actual realistic commission here. So 2.25 um, euro per half turn is what I pay for one lot in my life account also. This is because IC Markets provides very, very cheap commission trading models. And also with my partner link, I get even cheaper commissions. Check out more, having a, uh, having a look at the links in the description. So this is why this test is so realistic here. And now this test is actually finished. So we can do the comparison before we have a look at the actual strategy. So here we can see now, if I uh, rearrange this again at the upper half of the screen, we now see the test in the strategy tester, what I just showed you. And in the lower half, we see my actual live account. And just by looking at the graph, this is very, very similar. So now let's have a look at the key figures to figure out how similar and spot on it actually is. So I switch to the key figures here in my trade buddy trading journal. And in the strategy tester, let me also switch to the backtesting results here. So now we see all the important key figures here and you can see in the test at the upper half it's the 100% high quality tick data from the tick data suite. So let's compare some of these numbers. The overall net profit is 593 in the strategy tester 
And for the same period in my life account, it was 610 in USD Japanese yen. So my life performance was actually a little bit better even, even though it's just like 10 euro. Um, then the profit factor, very, very similar, a little bit better in the life account. The trades, oh, and this is interesting. We see a lot more trades in the strategy tester. And this is a little bit weird. It's maybe it is because the spread was on some days bigger in the strategy tester on the in the tick data suite data. So we got some more stop outs and additional entries that I did not have in my life account here. But yeah, this is a, a kind of big difference. But now let's have a look at some of the um, performance key figures here. So we won 33% in the strategy tester and 32% for short positions in the life account. For um, uh, long positions, it's the other way around. In the tester, we won close to 35% and in the life account, we won over 35%. So it's very, very accurate, but uh, yeah, just a little bit off. Then for the overall profit trades, we have 33.8% in the life account, 33.96% in the tester, and we lost 66% in the tester and in the life account. Now let's have a look at the consecutive wins and losses. Maximum consecutive wins is um, 6 here in the life account and in the tester. And this is a little bit weird. We have consecutive losses of 21 in the... Um, in the, in the tester and in the life account, we only have 14. Um, yeah, this is a little bit weird. Um, I don't really know why there's such a big gap, but the overall uh, consecutive or uh, yeah, consecutive profit and loss in actual money is kind of the same. But yeah, I don't know why we have such a long uh, losing streak in the tester. And yeah, overall, also the average profit, average loss is very, very similar. So we can say at this point that if you have realistic conditions for your test in the strategy test of the MetaTrader 5, you can actually compare it to the live trading results that you can expect in a live account. Yes, again, this doesn't mean it has to be like this in the future, but just for the past if you trade it in a live account and then test the same period in the strategy tester, it can be super, super, super similar like we just saw it here. Let me show you the graph again. So now let's have a look at the actual strategy. And again, you can get it if you check out the links in the video description. So what is this strategy? As I showed it to you before, it is running here on my VPS server in this specific account. You can see here in Euros dollar, we have the range breakout program running and it is running with 0 0.02 lots fixed for every trade from 2 to 3.30 in the morning and trades are deleted or orders are deleted and closed at 19.55. What does this mean? I want to show you a quick visual test for a short period of time so you can know how this strategy will uh, work. So let me just test for the current year. 20. 24 uh, USD Japanese yen and for the inputs I will add the same inputs. Don't be confused I have more inputs here in this program because I could test different stuff but I will just use the same settings as in the live account. So we go with 0 0.02 lots fixed then we do not have ATP we have a stop factor of 1 then we test the range from 2 o'clock in the morning we test 90, 90 minutes, so from 2 to 3.30, and we close and delete uh, everything at 19.55. We do not use any trailing stop. We uh, open a maximum of two positions per day. We do not use a range filter, and we do not use a moving average filter. So this is it. So you can see in this test, I use the exact same settings as in the live account, and now I will show you how this strategy really works. So yeah, you can see here the test is now loaded and we already see the trade for the first day. And you can see there is a range, a range built from 2 o'clock in the morning to 3.30. And um, yeah, after the range is 
completed. We will then see a buy stop order at the upper side of the range and a sell stop order at the lower side of the range. Lot size is fixed again for this trade uh, test with 0.02 lots. And then we just wait for one of these orders to become executed. And then there is no trade management, actually no trading stop, no nothing. Um, the strategy then really just waits until we hit this 19.55 o'clock and you can see then the trade is automatically closed at this price where we can see the symbol at this point and then this will generate a profit or a loss and that's pretty much the whole strategy. On some, uh, on some days we just see one trade which is a profit or a loss, on some other days we see two, two trades or more. Uh, no, sorry, not more. We see uh, on other days we can see a maximum of two trades. Um, yeah, as we can see here, the first trade. Oh, wait, I forwarded this too quickly. Um, uh, on, on this day here, which I will show you in a second, we saw, saw two trades because the first trade was a sell trade here, which was then stopped out. And then the second trade, the buy trade was also executed, which, which generated a profit. And you can see this is what the strategy does on every single day. It's, this is not complex. This is super easy. And this is maybe also the reason why the live trading results are so similar compared to the testing results for the same period. And this is a, a very, very important test for me that I will do from time to time to just check if all of my strategies are still on track or if I have to do something. I also saw this before uh, and this um, uh, especially what you can observe with uh, Skyping strategies or strategies that have a close stop loss. There you can really see a huge difference um, if you compare the live and the testing results because the stops usually um, yeah, tend to have more slippage um, compared to a strategy like this, where you close just as a, at a specific point in time. So this is why you should always be careful with really close stop loss and do this test from time to time to see if your strategy is still doing fine or maybe if the slippage is just too high for this specific strategy. But yeah, this was uh, the comparison. And again, I can show it to you in my uh, trade buddy trading journal here. You can see uh, I also have the trades from the beginning of 2018. Ah, okay. This was my fault. Now I just realized why there is a difference in the amount of trades. I forgot about this, but I started using the USD Japanese Yen open range breakout or range breakout EA just in February 2018. So the test started at the 1st January 2018 and the live trading results started at um, February 2018. So this is why we had more trades in the tester. Now everything makes sense. But yeah, I will not do the long test again. Uh, you, you still saw the graph and it was really, really spot on, really, really similar. And I think if I would do the same test again, starting from the 12th February 2018, also the key figures would be even more accurate. Okay, so this is it. I hope you like this little overview. And yeah, let me know what you think about this um, setup in the comments. And again, if you want to use it, you can do so. It's not a recommendation, but it's out there for everyone to use. Just check out the links in the video description. This is it. I'm out. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye-bye.